Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asma Morant, and we have got 49ers news that's sort of really getting on my nerves. But before I start at number one, sorry if I sound rough, I've got a bit of a chest infection and blocks up nose and so forth too. I saw the Dolphins and Jags game in the NFL London. I'll leave a link in the description of the highlights. Uh, number three, it's all in HD, my video from the NFL um, London game. But during the week of next week, Monday, I'm going to upload all of the 32, I think we've got 32, 33 vids in 4K. Some of them are minimum of like 10 seconds and a maximum of like 3, 4 minutes. So, you know, check that out when it comes out. Other than that, I'll get into the news. This news is weird. And I, I, I'll put it this way, I don't understand, but maybe you can help me. Okay, so here we are. So this is on NFL.com forward slash news. This was done, published on uh, October 18th. For the reason I'm late on it, I just wanted to see if it was right or wrong. It's confirmed it's right. So this is 49ers Jimmy Garoppolo returns to practice. Trey Lance still out. Okay. Adam Mayer as the NFL.com digital content producer. So let's read. Uh, the 49ers might be switching quarterbacks again. This time back to their starter. Jimmy Garoppolo practiced Monday while rookie Trey Lance was sidelined with his knee injury. Per the San Francisco Chronicle Eric Branch. Jimmy G didn't uh, appear limited by the calf injury that he suffered early in October. Both developments could mean he'll have his job back this weekend as the Niners look up to end a three-game slide versus the Colts. The bigger question is whether Jimmy's return will lead better results. Uh, Jimmy G has missed uh, San Francisco's last six quarters after suffering a calf strain in the first half of the team's week four loss to the Seahawks. That opened the door for Lance to see um, his first extension action and makes his first NFL start the following week against the Cardinals. The rookie came out of the uh, latter contest with a knee sprain that has left in status with week seven in the air. Uh, QB health has been a recurring issue for San Francisco in recent years, starting with Garoppolo. He missed 24 of 53 starts since the franchise made him the highest paid player in the league before the 2018 season. Uh, moreover, the veteran has struggled when health, uh, healthily and loved to play over the past 13 months. Injuries and inconsistency uh, in at the game's most important position are perhaps the primary reasons the 49ers 2-3 and three haven't approached the heights of the Super Bowl run from just two years ago. Uh, all of it leads to trading up in the 2021 draft and selecting Lance to be the future starter. But the twists and turns at QB and for the team as a whole are very still much a thing of the present. Now that's that one. I'm moving over to the next one. Okay, so that was 18th of October. This one on NFL.com for the news. This is the 20th of October. Yeah, again, yesterday, and I checked so many. Carl Shanahan is pretty optimistic Jimmy G will be able to play versus the Colts. Week 7 is setting up to be a return of normality for the 49ers under centre. Uh, 49ers coach Shanahan told reporters he's very optimistic about Jimmy Garoppolo being good against Indianapolis Colts on Sunday night, per the Athletics' David Lombardi. Shanahan added, it appears rookie backup Trey Lance start in 49ers' most recent game, a 17 loss to Arizona, will not be able to play in Week 7. Garoppolo spoke after Shanahan on Wednesday and said his calf injury is still feeling, is feeling really good. He'll get a chance to see how it responds after Wednesday's practice. Garoppolo helped the 49ers to a 2 1 start in their first three games, which is very nearly a perfect 3 0, if not the heroics of Aaron Rodgers, before he, um, before he exited in San Francisco's week four loss to Seattle due to the calf injury. Lance replaced Jimmy G in that game and entirely, uh, in the entirety of week five's defeat before suffering a knee injury that will likely keep him from pr participating against the Colts. Uh, the Garoppolo Lance dynamic has been the contest focus the 49ers coverage since the team traded up to number three to select Lance in April's draft. It received a boost with Garoppolo's latest injury in a long list of in a long list of them, which was a primary uh, motivator for uh, for San Francisco's decision to select Lance. The official uh, succession wasn't ex uh, expected to take place in 2021, and a temporary replacement only lasted a week and a half. We'll see if Garoppolo can keep his job by staying healthy and available for service starting Sunday night. Now, this is where I get aggy. So I understand that they reckon Jimmy G's better. He says that Jimmy G's better. Jimmy G says he's better. Looking optimistic. What happened to Nate Stubfield? 
Sudfield. I swear we had a QB3. I swear we did. And if we did, where is he? Why can't he do it? Because I've got the most dumbest feeling, and I mean the most dumbest feeling. We have to win against the Colts, by the way. There's no this us about it. And bearing in mind, I'm, I'm thinking logically, theoretically as well. Like I see clearly play, playoffs ain't in our list. Forget about it. Not even joking. Forget about it. And I'm being positive. Forget about it. If Jimmy G goes down, who's our QB3? Why? And, and if it is Nate, why weren't Nate doing it in the first place? <coughs> I don't understand. I don't get it. Because you cannot lose against the Colts. You just can't. We've got so many players out. Aaron Banks is still out. Aaron, we can't lose against the Colts. If we lose against the Colts, you can just forget it. Like, well, no disrespect, you can forget it anyway. But it, it would be the most biggest struggle for the 49ers if we lose. And I'm telling you that I know, it like, well, just to get through the season, just in general, if we win, okay, looking optimistic. Well, as, as Shanahan, optimistic. But we need to play clear-minded. Shanahan and his playmaking book. It's got to do it properly now. Keep by the book. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's it's just... I don't understand this guy's fiddling with the playbook. It don't work. He's fiddling. Like, you can tell. He's fiddling the playbook. It don't work. I don't understand. He's telling Trey Lance what's to do. You know? Lance is in the earpiece. Yeah, yeah, I've got it, boss. I've got it. I've got it. Get what? What you get? Lance need to do Lance. I said, you do you. And if after the, the first first down don't go where, the second down don't go where, we have to do the third down. I don't understand this team. I really, really don't. We need to win this game. If, we've got, if we're looking positive throughout this regular season, you don't forget about everything. The squad is damaged. Injury prone, and then we bring and then we give yearly signs to injury, yearly signs and four year deals, five year deals is injured players. And what happens? They're injured again. Makes no sense whatsoever. Aaron Banks, he ain't played, I don't think. Hasn't played. What? The, uh, like, uh, I don't understand. I really don't. Trent Williams, is it Whit Williams? Four or five year deal. Guy ain't, guy ain't done a full season since, what, 2014, 2015? Comes on, yeah, great. But he's it, it, always going have a problem. Oh, mate, arse ache, brain ache, something cake. A waste of time. That was a waste of money there. I know that we signed, was that cornerback Mitchell or left back Mitchell? Hopefully that will go well, but who knows, honestly. But if Jimmy G... Gets destroyed out there as an injured player. Oh my god! <coughs> Can you imagine? I couldn't imagine. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Leave us your comments down below. I'd like to hear what you think. I'd like to get back to you and like listen to what you guys got to say. Um, thank you very much for the fifty subscribers as well. Very fortunate. I will appreciate you guys subscribing. If you're new, subscribe. I've been forty nine news, gaming, streaming on Twitch, reactions, reviews, and all sorts. I've got a movie review coming out. Thursday or Friday, I think it's Friday night. There's a movie that I'm seeing, like a documentary. But yeah, um, other than that, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.